Um, I don't, there's not things that they say, well, you absolutely can't do this because it's going to create too much of a reaction. It's more because I've got so many characters that I care about and I know what's going on with them as I'm writing. I like to write scenes about, you know, checking in on Anna, checking in on this character, checking in on that character. And, and sometimes because my manuscripts also get pretty big, um, and, and my editor just says, you know what, it's, it's, it's interesting, it's great, it's not really the main focus of the story, so we can pull it out. Um, yeah. And so a lot of times I'll put those on my website, to create these little yeah. extras of, of this is, you know, where are they now kind of things. Um, so for me, it's more of a, a link issue than anything else. You get to pick someone. Oh, I'm sorry, the one who everyone is choosing to, yes, you, who have like four people around going. <laughs> Did you not read from the beginning? Read the book. Yeah. Okay. So the question is to do with um, Darius and John Matthew and how the, the the how it happened. And do you remember how the Omega went and inserted at a place in time? Uh, a pregnancy that yeah. developed into Lash. Yeah. Do you know yes. how he was able to do that? He actually made the decision to do that, but it played out. This is one of the fucked up. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of those things that it's it's hard to explain. But um, the scribe virgin is able to go back and place people in time, just like the Omega did in that instance. So what happened was. Darius gets blown up in the beginning of Dark Lover. At the end of Dark Lover, he meets her and his love for Beth. And also, I think there was, it didn't go on the page like this, but his love for his brothers and everyone, his connection to them, he wanted to somehow go back. And she demanded a token of faculty, which is his voice. And then, basically, what she did is, at that moment, the scribe version went back in time and placed him so that he can grow up and reorientate. And that was the reason why the blood test linked him so clearly with Darius's line. Yeah. But he doesn't look exactly like Darius because the one thing that can't happen is it would totally destabilize the world if it became clear both to John Matthew and to everyone else in the Brotherhood that he was in fact Darius. Because if you think about it, all of the dynamics of all the relationships would change, but it also wasn't part of the original deal that was struck, which is I demand a token of faculty, you can go back, but you will never know. Um, and when John Matthew was having those seizures and those spasms, like when he saw Beth, when he yeah. saw Fritz, it's like um, at that moment, his memories are so deep and so vast, they're trying to break through his consciousness, and she, in effect, has put like a cap on it. And that's that reaction that you see in him. And I think that that's also part of the reason why Tor and John Matthew had an instant connect. Well, I mean, he was still nervous in his apartment, and he didn't want to let him in. But then, as soon as he really got into the world, I mean, it was really an instantaneous father-son bond. And I think it's one of those things where it, like, it's the full circle thing. It's that, you know, he was the father to Tor, and now Tor is the father to him. You know, so I hope that answers the question. He does look pretty similar to him, right? He moves like him, flies like him. You get to left hand like him. Yeah, yeah, no, what's it? Okay, here's my question. When you are writing, do you, like, I know when I'm reading, I get very emotional. Like, uh, I'm crying, I laugh, I mean, I'm sitting on a train, people think I'm crazy because all of a sudden I go stop laughing. Do you find yourself doing that? I when you're cry like a pussy. <laughs> And, and Lassiter made me yes. laugh yes. my yes. ass off. Yes. The, the picture of him naked behind the bar going, or does all. Don't ever say that word without your pants on. Yeah. <laughs> and, and I just, he cried. And Rage has that same thing. You know, yes. when oh. 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 oh my God. Well, I love the dancers. Yeah. 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 You know, and he's doing the, you know, the dance thing. Oh For the love of God, stop doing that. <laughs> the other thing got me was at that meeting and they called him Hobble on Hollywood. You know, how's your basket? And I will be held my hug, but I, you know, I cried so badly when the Brotherhood came to tour. Oh, I mean, just ugly tears. I mean, and it happened when I drafted it, 
when I revised it, when it went into frickin' production, and then in the copy edits, and then in the goddamn galleys, and the cop stuff, and final version. That was worth it. And I just... My husband has come in and been like, oh my god, are you okay? <laughs> and he's like, what can I do? Because I mean, my husband's like, you know, he wants to make, oh, it's an amazing thing. And he's like, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't help you. <laughs> what do you want from me? <laughs> yeah. Okay, you get to pick again. <sighs> so I have a question about your bracelet. Is that kind of like a replica of Marissa's diamond Bobby yard that she always wears? Mente. <laughs> um, I love it. I keep I, I'm a little bit of a whore for the jewelry. <laughs> <laughs> so, is that your final question? Is you the band one? of bastards, are they, the band gonna, of bastards. are they gonna be under the Black Dagger Brotherhood title or are you gonna do them well, as I'm, a new series? Guy just shot Wrath in the chest. Right now they ain't doing <laughs> shit. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta let out. Um, the Band of Bastards, I think in the future there will be a time when the Band of Bastards and the Brothers are, are united. It's gonna be a while off. The reason why I say that is because the enemy of my enemy is my friend. So I can see a scenario, maybe it's the sympaths, maybe it's something else, that creates a destabilization in the world sufficient so that their interests are aligned. And when that happens, I, well, you know, Tor is right now supposed to kill Kor. Yeah. Yeah. She's like, but what about Layla? Yeah, Layla's gonna... Uh, okay. She's a wrench. Fuck all y'all! What did they say? What did they say? I mean, here's the thing. I want to What's up, bitches? We have enough time for twenty dollars. What time is it? Does anyone know what time it is? There's no way we can go through twenty. function because if you have an identity you start to question authority the scribe virgin has deliberately created an environment where the chosen have no opinion about anything so I know that people feel that they are you know not very individual and they're kind of bland but that's the point so part of her journey is going to be to, I hate that word but part of what she's going to do is figure out who she is and you know the decision to have a child I think for she and Quinn they both have nothing right now Blaze in love with Saxton. You're welcome. No. No. Blaze in love with Saxton. Yeah. Oh, no. yeah. He's fighting the Blaze He's getting banged. There you go. There you go. There you go. Actually, no, you're right. You are, you are right to correct me. He's not, he is in fact not in love. But the thing is, what was that? He's just his lover. No, it's true. And, and it's, and I think that from Quinn's perspective, he really doesn't belong in the brotherhood. He doesn't have any family. You know, Layla is the same. She's completely adrift because the chosen, the structure of the chosen is completely broken down. So they are two individuals who are rootless. They understand where they're coming from. They understand. They both want the same thing, and they are not in love with each other. And the, and there are worse things to do than to bring a child into the world that you really want. And I want Blaine to be a daddy. Yeah. Okay. So I will let you guys in on a secret, and this will show up on the internet. I know. <laughs> the best vision I've ever gotten is of Layla turning her newborn child over to Blay. <laughs> and so they're, they're in the garden room, 
And I know, oh my God, I'm totally tearing up. And, and she's just given birth to a beautiful baby girl, and Quinn is there, and Blay is standing far from them, just in the door like this, because he doesn't feel like he's part of it. And then she reaches out to him. I mean, understanding how much Blaine and Quinn are going to love each other in a way that another female wouldn't because she's an Eros so to her love is love so it's not and, and so that's just the most wonderful picture and her drawing Blay in and putting his hand on the child and so it is clear at that moment that Blay is a father, Quinn is a father and she is a mother and that shit is not going to happen unless she gets knocked up because there is no IVF in the, in the vampire world, there's no adoption or it's very very rare and I think Quinn deserves to be a father, and so does Blay. And this is the only yeah. way it's happening. Yeah. 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 So let's. So we have one more question, then we got to figure out who gets the swear curse money. You should just do all of them. Do all of them. Do all of them. Do all of them. Okay. I'm loving you. Yes. 